بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسوله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد today بإذن الله تعالى we uh, begin the first uh, principle um, قاعدة الأولى um, in the book so we finished the introduction to the uh, four principles and now we're beginning the first principle قاعدة الأولى بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أن تعلم أن تعلم أن الكفار الذين قاتلهم رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم مقرون بأن الله تعالى هو الخالق المدبر وأن ذلك لم يدخلهم في الإسلام ودليل قوله تعالى قل من يرزقكم من السماء والأرض أم من يملك السمع والأبصار ومن يخرج الحي من الميت ويخرج الميت من الحي ومن يضبر الأمر فسيقولون الله فقل أفلا تتقون So the Sheikh here begins with the first principle and he mentions that know that the disbelievers so the polytheists at the time of the Prophet the ones that the Prophet fought against yeah they affirmed that Allah, the Most High, He's the Creator, Khalik, He created everything. He's the Mudabbir, He's the disposer of all the affairs. And that did not enter them into Islam. So just merely affirming that Allah is the Creator and He's the disposer of all the affairs, it didn't enter them into Islam. And the proof for that is the statement of Allah. So you go to the ayah which is uh, in Surah Yunus. So we go to Surah Yunus. So the ayah in Surah Yunus, where Allah mentions, Sayyid Muhammad وسلم, who provides for you from the sky and the earth, or who owns hearing and sight, and who brings out the living from the dead, and brings out the dead from the living, and who disposes the affairs. They will say, Allah, Sir, will you then be afraid of Allah's punishment for setting up rivals in worship with Allah? So this was obviously addressing the, the Prophet, saying to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to address the disbelievers and they answer, meaning that they affirm that it was Allah who did all that. So going through the ayah, we can say, we can see that Allah asks them who provides for them from the sky and the earth. And that's the risk. That's the sustenance. Yeah. Or who owns the hearing and sight. That's the mulk. Yeah, that Allah owns the hearing and sight. And who brings out the living from the dead? He's the muhi, the one who gives life and the one who gives death. Yeah, and brings out the dead from the living. And who disposes of all the affairs? Mean the mudabbir. Yeah. So he disposes of all the affairs. They will say Allah. So all these uh, characteristics here, they fall under tawheed al rububiyyah so we're going to see what the Sheikh says about this. So the Sheikh says, Al-Qaeda al-Ula, the first principle, أن تعرف أن الكفار الذين كاتلهم رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم كانوا مقرين بالتوحيد الربوبية وما ذلك إكرارهم بالتوحيد الربوبية لم يدخلهم في الإسلام ولم يحرم دماءهم ولا أموالهم. So the Sheikh says, that the first principle is that you know that the disbelievers, those who the Prophet fought against, so there was the polytheists of Mecca, they used to affirm Tawheed al-Rububiyya. So we mentioned those characteristics of Rububiyya lordship, that Allah is the creator of everything. Yeah, Allah is the sustainer of everything. That Allah gives life and death. He owns everything. Yeah, and that Allah he disposes of all affairs. So they affirmed all that. Yeah. Uh, and with that, with the affirmation of Tawheed al-Rubiyya, uh, Lordship, it did not enter them into Islam. And it did not make haram their blood and their wealth, meaning in battle. Yeah. It was still permissible. So whereas a Muslim's blood and wealth is not permissible. Then the Sheikh he said, فَدَلَّ أَنَّ التَّوْحِيدِ لَيْسَ هُوَ الْإِقْرَارِ هُوَ الْإِقْرَارِ بِالْرُبُوبِيَّةِ فَقَتْ وَأَنَّ الشِّرْكِ لَيْسَ هُوَ الشِّرْكِ فِي الْرُبُوبِيَّةِ فَقَتْ بَلْ لَيْسَ هُنَاكَ أَحَدٌ أَشْرَكَ 
في ربوبية إلا شواذ من الأخلق وإلا فكل, فكل الأمم تقر بتوحيد ربوبية والتوحيد ربوبية هو الإقرار بأن الله هو الخالق الرازق المحي المميت المدبر أو بإبارة أخسر توحيد الربوبية هو إفراد الله تعالى بأفعاله سبحانه وتعالى هو فلا أحد من الخلق ادعى أن هناك أحد يخلق مع الله تعالى أو يرزق مع الله أو يحيي أو يميت بل المشركون مقرون بأن الله هو هو الخالق الرازق المحي المميت المدبر So then the Sheikh is going to mention some more proofs. We'll stop there. We'll uh, translate and then we'll go through the proofs, inshallah. So then going back here, the Sheikh, he says, and what shows that Tawheed, that Tawheed is not only affirming Rububiyya, Lordship, because remember, we there's three types of Tawheed. Yeah? The Tawheed is split up into three categories. And how a person may ask is, are these three categories found? They are, the three categories were deduced by the scholars while looking into the Quran and the Sunnah, and that they don't exit out of these three. And sometimes the scholars can put them down and put them into two types. Yeah. So what are the uh, three types? They are Rububiya, which is lordship. Yeah. So these are that all of the mankind affirm this. Majority of mankind from beginning Adam alayhi salam until the end, they affirm this. Yeah. And that is that Allah is the creator, the sustainer. We're going to go into more in, uh, more into detail about that, where the Sheikh explains it. And then uh, the Tawheed Asma with Safat, about believing in the names and attributes of Allah, and Tawheed al uluhiya which is Tawheed of worship, meaning if you believe in them two forms, then it means that Tawheed of worship needs to be implemented. That worship is only for Allah. So they're the three types. So some of the scholars will combine Tawheed al rububiyya and Asma with Safat into one, and they call it Tawheed al ilmiya or knowledge. A tawheed of knowledge and then Tawheed al Amaliyah, which is action, uh, our worship, and that's the Tawheed al Uluhiya. So they split them into two. But either way, uh, so that is Tawheed. So the Shishek said that Tawheed is not just affirming Tawheed al Rububiyya, lordship only. Uh, and that Shirk is not only Shirk in Rububiyya, in lordship only. Rather, there is no one who commits Shirk in lordship except. Uh, the very rare or uh, you know rare cases from uh, from the people from the creation that have fallen into that where they've uh, attributed partners with Allah in in creation in Rububiya, in you know in risk and all these affairs but uh, but as for the remaining of the nations that they all affir affirmed tawhid al rububiyya they all affirmed that Allah is the creator the sustainer yeah uh, and tawhid al rububiyya it is the uh, you know is uh, affirming that uh, Allah, He's the Creator, He's the Sustainer, He's the one who gives life, He's the one who gives death, and He's the one who disposes of all the affairs. Yeah. Uh, or, or with a you know a more succinct and summarized uh, phrase, we can say Tawhid al is singling out Allah the Most High in His actions. The Most High, Subhanahu Wa Taala, singling out Allah in His actions. So there's no one from the creation that cre that claims that there is uh, anyone who creates with Allah, along with Allah, that is a partner in creating, or the Most High, or that there is anyone who's a partner with Allah in giving sustenance, or there's a part a partner with Allah in giving life, or a partner with uh, with Allah in giving death, rather. Even the disbelievers, yeah, the mushrikun, the ones who commit shirk, they affirm that Allah, He's a khalik, He's a creator, He's a ar razik, He's the one who gives the raised sustenance, He's the one al muhi gives life, He's al mumit, the one who gives death, and He's al mudabbir, who disposes of all affairs. Then, uh, then if you, then the uh, Sheikh goes on to mention a ayah. وَلَئِنْ سَأَلْتَهُمْ مَنْ خَلَقَ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ لَيَقُولُنَّ اللَّهِ لَيَقُولُنَّ اللَّهِ So here the, the Sheikh says, and if you, in Surah Al-Quman, he mentioned, uh, and if you, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, asked him, meaning the disbelievers, who has created the heavens and the earth, they will certainly say Allah. 
So that is the ayah in Surah Luqman. Then the Shaykh mentioned, قُلْ مَنْ رَبُّ السَّمَوَاتِ السَّبَعِ وَرَبُّ الْأَرْشِ الْعَظِيمِ سَيَقُولُونَ لِلَّهِ So, yeah. So if you read that, that is a Surah uh, Al-Mu'minun. So, who is the Lord of the seven heavens and the Lord of the great throne? Yeah, and they will say, uh, and they will say Allah. So then, completing the ayah, it will say, "Will you not uh, fear Allah, believe in His oneness, obey Him, believe in His uh, in the resurrection and recompense of every good or bad deed?" So that is the end of the ayah of Surah Al-Mu'minun. So then the Sheikh says, "Iqra'u al-ayat min akhir Surah Al-Mu'minun." So, "Tajiduna an al-mushrikin kanu muqirina bi tuhid al-rubiya, wa kathalika fi Surah Al-Yunus." So the Sheikh said, "Read the ayahs at the end of Surah Al-Mu'minun." So this is something that you all could do. Open the uh, translation of the meaning of the Quran, and the best. We see that we advise, and the scholars advise with, is that of Dr. Mohsin Khan and Taqidin Halali, Rahimahumullah, Allah mercy on both of them, uh, where they've translated the meanings according to the way of the understanding of the Salaf, yeah? and uh, that are backed up by Hadith and Tafsir. Yeah? Uh, so that you find that the Mushrikun, so if you look at the end of Surah Mu'minun, that you find that the Mushrikun, the polities, they used to affirm Tawheed al rububiyyah Tawheed of Lordship. And likewise, if you look at the end of the in Surah Yunus, so then the Sheikh mentions the ayah in Surah Yunus, "Qul man yarzuqukum min al-sama' wal-ard, aman yamliku al-sama' wal-absara, wa man yakhrij al-hiy min al-mayyit, wa yakhrij al-mayyit min al-hiy, wa man yudabbir al-amr, fasayakuluna, fasayakuluna Allah." So we're going to just translate that. So the Surah Yunus, verse say again saying, Say of Muhammad who provides you from the sky and the earth, from the heavens and the earth, or who owns hearing and sight, and who brings out the living from the dead, or who brings out the dead from the living, and who disposes of the affairs, they will say, Allah, uh, say, will you not then be afraid of Allah's punishment? For setting up rivals in worship with Allah. So that was a P of the ayah. Then the Shaykh mentioned, فَلَيْسَ التَّوْحِيدُ هُوَ الْإِقْرَارُ بِالتَّوْحِيدَ الرُّبُوبِيَّةِ كَمَا يَقُولُ ذَلِكَ الْأُلَمَاءِ الْكَلَامِ وَالنُّظَّارِ فِي أَقَائِدِهِمْ فَإِنَّهُمْ يُقِرُّونَ بِأَنَّ التَّوْحِيدُ هُوَ الْإِقْرَارُ بِأَنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ الْخَالِقُ الرَّازِقُ الْمُحِيِّ الْمُمِيدُ فَيَقُولُونَ واحد في ذاته لا قسيم له واحد في صفاته لا شبيه له واحد في أفعاله لا شريك له وهذا هو توحيد الربوبية ارجعوا إلى أي كتاب من كتب, كتب علماء الكلام تجدوهم لا, يخر لا يخرجون أن توحيد الربوبية وهذا ليس وهذا ليس هو التوحيد الذي بعث الله به الرسل والإقرار بهذا وحده لا ينفع, ينفع ساحبه لأن هذا أقر به المشركون وسناديد الكفر ولم يخرجهم من الكفر ولم يدخلهم في الإسلام فهذا غلط عظيم فمن اعتقد هذا الاعتقاد ما زاد على ما زاد على اعتقاد أبي جحل وأبي لحم فالذي عليه الآن بعض المثقفين هو تقرير التوحيد الربوبية فقط ولا يتطرقون إلى توحيد الألوهية وهذا غلط عظيم في مسمى التوحيد. So you just translate that. So the Sheikh he mentions here an important point. So that he says that Tawheed is just is not just merely affirming uh, the lordship as we mentioned earlier, uh, as as the scholars of the people of rhetoric, the, the people of uh, who go into philosophy and Sufism, they they they, they scholars uh, in their belief, they don't exit just limit Tawheed to Tawheed of Rububiyyah, affirming that Allah is the creator, the sustainer, the one who gives life and death, you know these and so on and so forth. Uh, 
So they do, they, they affirm the Tawheed that is affirming that Allah, He's the creator, the sustainer, the one who gives life and death. So they say Allah is one in His essence and that He has no partners and no, He does not split up. Yeah? Uh, and then He is one in His, in his attributes and there is no one who resembles him and he is one in his action and then he has no partners in it so that is all what tawhid al rububiyyah so this hada huwa tawhid al rububiyyah tawhid of lordship so they don't mention anything about worship so if you return back to any book from the books of the scholars of kalam of rhetoric yeah those who go into philosophy and go into these debates yeah and uh, sufism generally they find that you find that they do not exit from Tawheed al -Rububiyya. They only focus on Tawheed al -Rububiyya. They don't mention Asma wa Sifat and they don't mention what? Uh, Uluhiyya, which is to worship Allah alone. And this is, Wahada Laysa, the Sheikh said, and this is not the Tawheed that Allah sent his messengers with. Uh, to affirm this alone, it doesn't benefit the, the person who has this belief. Uh, because this uh, this affirmation, uh, the mushrik mushriks of uh, Mecca at the time of the Prophet uh, you know, and those were the courageous ones from the disbelievers, they had that belief, and they didn't exit, and that did not exit them from kufr, having that belief that Allah is the Creator, as we mentioned in the on previous ayahs, they affirmed if you were to ask him who did this, who created them, who sends them risk, who gives them life and death. They say Allah, yeah. So that didn't exit them outside of the disbelief, and didn't, uh, and it did not enter them into Islam. So this is a great mistake, yeah. So whoever believes this belief, he has not increased upon the belief. He's not increased on the belief of who Abu Abu Jahl and Abu Lahab. Who are they? One was the uncle of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he was an enemy to the Prophet ﷺ. And the other one as well, he was an enemy. So these are two great enemies of the Prophet ﷺ. They held this belief. They believed that Allah was the creator, the sustainer, the one who disposes of all the affairs, gives life, the care of life and death. But they didn't enter Islam because they didn't single out Allah and worship. Rather, they used to give worship to the different idols. So, so then the Sheikh said, uh, that, that which a lot of the uh, people, intellectuals, uh, affirm now is Tawheed al rububiyyah only, Tawheed of Lordship only. They don't uh, affirm Tawheed of uh, of Uluhiyah. So they don't affirm that. Yeah. So, uh, and then the Sheikh, he said, and they don't, uh, and they don't address Tawheed al Uluhiyah. They don't, they don't address Tawheed al Uluhiyah at all, which is to worship, single out Allah and worship alone. All forms of worship. I'm going to get into that. What is worship? A lot of people think worship is just prayer, salah. Dua is worship. You can't give dua to anyone other than Allah. Sacrifice. Yeah. And then our brother Shab is going through Uthul Salatha and he's going to go into more of those different aspects of worship. So if you can join that as well on Fridays. So, you know, so they, there's difference. And we're going to go through these, inshallah. So Tawheed al rububiyyah we know it's only Lordship. Tawheed Asma wa Safat is what? The names and attributes of Allah. And then Tawheed al is to worship Allah alone. So it's not just praying yeah, the Salah. No, it's more than that. So this is a great mistake in what in what is called Tawheed. So they only think that Tawheed is Tawheed al rububiyyah Then the Shaykh carries on, وَأَمَّا الشِّرْكِ فَيَقُولُونَ هُوَ أَن تَعْتَقِدْ أَنَّ أَحَدٌ يخلق ما الله أو يرزق ما الله نقول هذا ما قاله أبو جهل وأبو لهب ما قالوا إن أحدا يخلق يخلق ما الله ويرزق ما الله بل هم مقرون بأن الله هو الخ هو الخالق الرازق المحي المميت. so then the sheikh he says أم الشرك أصف الشرك so they say yeah, meaning the people who claim to be intellectuals the people of uh, you know, rhetoric and the Sufis and the general laymen from the Muslims, Allah guide us and them to the Hakka Ameen and keep it firm upon Tawheed, Allah Ameen. They say that, uh, that that is shirk is to believe 
that someone he creates with uh, along with Allah or he gives sustenance along with Allah. We say this is not what uh, Abu Jahal or Abu Lahab said. It's because they were disbelievers. So you're saying that they didn't commit shirk then? Because they didn't believe that. They didn't believe anyone cr created with Allah or uh, gave sustenance with Allah. Rather, they believed in this. Yeah, that Allah is alone in that. Yeah, so would you call them Muslim? No. We say they didn't say that. That one was someone was to create with Allah or to give risk with Allah. Rather, they affirmed that Allah, He is the creator and the and sustainer, the giver of life and the giver of death. So, what enters a person into Islam is the one, Tawheed al Uluhiyah, to worshipping, singling out Allah in that worship. So, that is the end of the first principle. Then we go on to the second principle, Al Qaida al Thaniya. أَنَّهُمْ يَقُولُونَ مَا دَعَوْ مَا دَعَوْ مَا دَعَوْنَاهُمْ وَتَوَجَّحْنَا إِلَيْهِمْ إِلَّا لِطَلَبِ الْقُرْبَى وَالشَّفَاءَ فَدَلِيلُهُ قُرْبَى قَوْلُهُ تَعَالَى وَالَّذِينَ اتَّخَذُوا مِنْ دُونِهِ أَوْلِيَاءَ مَا تَعْبُدُهُمْ إِلَّا لِيُقَرِّبُونَا إِلَى اللَّهِ زُلْفَى إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَحْكُمُ بَيْنَهُمْ فِيمَا هُمْ فِيهِ يَخْتَلِفُونَ إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَحْدِي مَنْ هُوَ Man huwa kathibun kaffar. So then we go and explain this. So that the second principle uh, Sheikh mentions is that, that they say, meaning the people who commit shirk, and the people from our nation, the Muslims, who have mis been misguided yeah, by the ignorant, and the people who are the callers to hellfire, yeah, and shaitan. And they say, that we do not call them, meaning the people that they worship, or the idols that they worship, you know, uh, and uh, we do not turn to them, uh, except to seek nearness to Allah and intercession. And the proof for nearness is the speech of Allah, where Allah says, uh, let's get that, He says, and those, let's just get that uh, ayah, just bear, bear with me a second. Uh, the Sheikh is Surah Zumar, verse uh, 3. Surely the religion, uh, the worship and the obedience is for Allah only. And those who take all Yah protectors and helpers, and lords and gods besides him, Say, and this is the point where the Sheikh quoted, we worship them only that they may bring us near to Allah. Worthy Allah will judge between them concerning that wherein they differ. Truly Allah guides not him who is a liar and a disbeliever. So that is a proof that they say we only worship them to get near and closer to Allah. So then the Sheikh uh, continues, أقعد ثانية أن المشركين الذين سماهم الله مشكين وحكم عليهم بالخلود في النار لم يشركوا في الربوبية وإنما أشركوا في الألوهية فهم لا يقولون إن إن آل آلهتهم تخلق تخلق وترزق مع الله وأنهم ينفعون أو يضرون أو يدبرون مع الله وإنما اتخذوهم شفعاء كما قال قال الله تعالى عنهم ويعبدون من دون الله ما لا يضرهم ولا ينفعهم ويقولون هؤلاء شفعاءنا إن الله سورة يونس and then also ما لا يضرهم ولا ينفعهم هم مؤترفون بها بهذا إنهم لا ينفعون ولا يضرون وإنما اتخذوهم شفعاء يَعِينُ وَسَطَاءَ إِنَّ اللَّهَ فِي قَدَاءَ حَوَائِجِهِمْ يَذْبَحُونَ لَهُمْ وَيُنْذِرُونَ لَهُمْ لَا لِأَنَّهُمْ يَخْلُقُونَ أَوْ يَرْزُقُونَ أَوْ يَنْفَعُونَ أَوْ يَضُرُّونَ فِي اعْتِقَادِهِمْ وَإِنَّمَا لِأَنَّهُمْ يَتَوَسَّطُونَ لَهُمْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ وَيَشْفَعُونَ إِنَّ اللَّهَ هذه أقيدة المشركين. So then the Sheikh he, he, he explains in this uh, paragraph he says uh, 
uh, explaining that principle, uh, number uh, the second principle, is that the mushrikeen, the disbelievers, though those who Allah, you know, called, uh, named the disbelievers, mushrikeen, uh, and uh, you know, he, he ruled upon them with, uh, you know, spending eternity in the hellfire. Allah protected from falling into that. Uh, they did not commit shirk in lordship, rububiyya. Um, but they committed shirk in uluhiyya, in the worship. Yeah. So they did not commit shirk in uh, rububiyya, which is to single out Allah in his, you know, in the, being the creator, the sustainer, the giver of life and death, the owner, uh, and the um, the disposer of affairs. No, they made shirk with Allah in worship. So give the worship that was due to Allah to other than Allah. So they did not say uh, that the gods, yeah, uh, yeah, the deities that they create and they give risk with Allah. They didn't attribute those qualities to the law of gods that they worship, and that they that they benefit or they that they harm or that they dispose of affairs with Allah. No, but they took them as intercessors, as Allah the Most High says about them in uh, Surah Yunus. Let me just get that. And the, the ayah is, and they, and they uh, worship besides Allah things that hurt them not, nor profit them. And they said these are intercessors with Allah. So yeah, so that was uh, the ayah. And then, and and the next ayah was uh, do, that do not uh, do not harm them and they do not benefit them. So they are they are affirm and they confess that they that they the the idols that they worship and the gods of worship they do not benefit them and do not harm them, but they have taken them as what as intercessors, meaning as intermediaries with Allah uh, in in the affairs. And in the uh, you know in the needs, so they what they sacrifice to them. This is an act of worship. Uluhiya is worship. Sacrifice is worship. And in my prayer, my sacrifice are for Allah alone. You know, uh, mentioned in the Quran. So and uh, they make vows. Or making a vow is to only for Allah, and they, that they uh, not because they create or do the, that they uh, you know give sustenance or the benefit them or harm them. In the uh, in the belief, no, no, merely because uh, that they are intermediaries for them with Allah. So intermediaries within them with Allah, and that they intercede with Allah. So this is the aqidah of the mushrikeen. Yeah. So anta lama tunakish alan kuburiyan min al kuburiyin yqul yqul hadhih al maqala sawa un sawa. Uh, بسواء uh, يقول أنا 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 أدري أنا هذا الولي أو هذا الرجل uh, الصالح لا يضر ولا ينفع ولكن هو رجل صالح وأريد منه الشفاء لي إن الله. So the Shaykh says that if you uh, you know uh, have a discussion with one of a kaburi, a person who worships the graves, who takes to, visits the graves and worships them and calls upon the dead, if you to uh, you know, discuss with them uh, about Tawheed and call them to Tawheed, uh, he would say the same speech as these mushrikeen of the past that Allah mentioned. So they would say, I, he would know, I know, he would say, I know that this wali in, 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 in his claim that he's a wali, wali is a close friend of Allah, uh, that this is a wali, that he is a man that is righteous and that he does not harm and he does not benefit me, but he is a righteous man. And I want from him intercession uh, with Allah for me. So this is the claim. So in intercession, there's a accepted intercession, which is uh, the truthful one, and the batil one, which is rejected. So shafa alati hiya haq wa sihiya hiya ma tawafar tawafaru fiha shartan. So the shafa that is correct and accepted, it is the one that contains two, con it has two conditions. So, so we say, a shart al awwal an takun bi idnillah. The first condition is that it is, uh, you know, with the permission of Allah. And a shart al thani 
أن يكون المش... مشفأ المشفأ فيه من أحل التوحيد أي من أصات الموحدين so, so then the Sheikh he said uh, that the second condition is that he is a person of Tawheed the one who is interceding for you and he meaning that he is from the sinners of uh, the people of Tawheed meaning as uh, the Prophet has some statement so all of the children of Adam are sinners and the best of the sinners are those who repent so yeah uh, uh, that the intercessor is a person of Tawheed so they're the, the two conditions that is by the permission of Allah and that is what uh, that a person is a person of Tawheed uh, so then the, the Shaykh Ibn Asa and then the, the proof of Shafa is the speech of Allah وَيَعْبَدُونَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ مَا لَا يَدُرُّهُمْ وَلَا يَنْفَأُهُمْ وَيَقُولُونَ حَأُولَاءِ شُفَعَاءُنَا إِنْدُ اللَّهِ Surah Yunus and that is and uh, this proof of Shafa intercession is in the, and they worship other than Allah uh, that which do not harm them and that does not benefit and they say these are our intercessors with Allah so they'll be talking about the disbelievers. Or shafa'a, shafa'a ta'ala. We said the shafa'is are two types. Shafa'a manfi'a, the, the one that is neg- uh, the fa- shafa'a that is uh, negated. Or shafa'a muthabbata. And the word shafa'a that is affirmed. For shafa'a al manfi'a ma kanat tutla min ghayrillah fi ma la yaktur alayhi illallah. And shafa'a that is what? That is neglected, uh, that is negated, is the one that is uh, sought from other than Allah. Uh, that it, they do not have the uh, ability except only Allah has the ability for that. And then, uh, Dalilu, uh, so then we'll go, go into the into that later on. So we continue on with this one. And then, فَإِنْ إِخْتَلَّ شَرْطْ مِنْ شَرْطَيْنْ فَالشَّفَاءَ بَاطِلَ قَالَ تَعَالَى مَنْ, من ذَا الَّذِي يَشْفَوْ إِنْدَهُ إِلَّا بِإِذْنِهِ yeah, Surah Baqarah, Ayatul Kursi. وَلَا يَشْفَعُونَ إِلَّا لِمَنْ اِرْتَضَى لِمَنْ اِرْتَضَى So the Anbiya was 28 وَهُمْ أُسَاتُ الْمُوَحِدِينَ أَمَّ الْكُفَّارِ وَالْمُشْرِكِينَ فَمَا تَنْفَعُهُمْ شَفَاءَةُ الشَّافِعِينَ مَا لِلْذَّالِمِينَ مِنْ حَمِيمٍ وَلَا شَفِيءٍ يُطَاءَ yeah. So then we read that So if the, one of the, of the conditions Of the previous two conditions Which we said If it's, uh, it's not with the permission of Allah Or it's not a person from the people of Tawheed, uh, then the uh, then the shafa is a batil, is uh, something that is not correct. It's not correct shafa, and it's not accepted. And Allah says, uh, who uh, in the surah in uh, Surah Baqarah in Ayat al-Kursi, who is the one who intercedes with Allah except with His permission? So that shows that Allah's permission is needed. And another ayah, and they do not seek, uh, and they are not, uh, they do not intercede except with uh, with uh, with, with, with except one that Allah is pleased with that Surah Anbiya, uh, and they are the uh, you know the sinners from the people of Muhad, Muhadi, the a person of Tawheed. As for the disbelievers and the Mushrikeen, uh, then they uh, they do not benefit. The Shafa does not benefit them uh, of the intercessors. So then uh, the Sheikh he mentions the ayah which is in Surah Ghafir. So I'm just going to get that uh, for you now. which is from the highest Surah Ghafir and he says there will be no friend nor uh, nor an intercessor for the Zalim among the polytheists and wrongdoers who could be given uh, who could be given he to so that is uh, the translation of that so then the Sheikh said for how he sama'u bi shifa'a wa la arafu ma'naha wa ra'ahu uh, yet, yet Allah, Allah, Allah. So he said that these people, the one who commit shirk by calling upon uh, the idols or upon the dead righteous people, they heard about shafa intercession but they don't know the meaning of it so they they they, they went to uh, people uh, 
uh, that they or they you know idols or whether we are seeking from them uh, the shafa without the permission of Allah the Most High. They are rather they saw uh, you know a shafa uh, from who might be a mushrik. Yeah, uh, with Allah, and it doesn't benef- benefit the shafa uh, of the intercessors uh, for uh, the mushrik himself. Yeah, so uh, so these are ignorant people. Uh, of the meaning of the shafa, the true shafa, uh, and the and the bath shafa, the one that is uh, false shafa. Uh, and then the sheikh uh, he carries on and he says, uh, the, he says shafa. Uh, we mentioned already that the shafa is uh, two types: is affirmed and it's the and the rejected here. Yeah? So a shafa a muthabbata here, the, the shafa that is accepted here, the allati tutul min Allah. That is the one that is uh, sought from Allah. While the rejected one is which one is sought from other than Allah. Was shafi'u mukramun bi shafa. Yeah. And he is the, the one who is uh, interceding. He is, uh, you know, he's, he's given that, uh, um, he's given that, um, you know, honor. Of uh, intercession by Allah. Wal mashru lahu man radi Allahu qauluhu wa amaluhu bada. So a shafi. So the the one who is uh, interceding for is the one who Allah is pleased uh, with his speech and his action after the ish, after permission, as Allah the Most High says. I'm gonna read the ayah on the next page. Uh, Allah says. Man yashfa'u indahu illa bi'idhni And whoever who uh, intercedes with Allah, uh, Except with Allah's permission And then we uh, uh, stop here And he said Al-shafa'a laha sharut wal laha quyud Laysat mutlaqa So shafa'a it has conditions and, lim- and limitation restrictions So it's not uh, you know just uh, uh, unrestrictive For shafa'a Shafa'a ta'ani So there's two types of shafa'a Shifa nafaha Allah, Shifa that Allah has uh, uh, rejected, and Jalla wa ala wa hiya Shifa bi ghair idnihi. And that is intercession without his permission, the Most High, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fala yashfa wa ahadun in the law illa bi idnihi. So no one can intercede uh, with Allah except with his permission. Wa afdal al khalq wa hatim al nabiyin Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ida arada an yashfa. The Ahl al Mawqif, Yom al Qiyama, Yahiru Sajidam Baina Yadeya Rabbi, Rabbihi, Wa Yadu, Wa Yahmudu, Wa Yuthna, Alehi, Wala Yazal Sajidan, Hatta Yukalahu, Irfa Raksaka, Wakul Tusma, Wash, 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 and then he said, there is no shifa for anyone except with Allah's permission and the best of creation and the f- final of the prophets and messengers, the seal of the final uh, of the prophets and messengers, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he wants to make shifa for the people who are standing on the day of judgment, uh, he will uh, rush to, uh, he will go down, bow down uh, to Allah and uh, go into sujood uh, in front of Allah, the Most High, and he will call and praise Allah with what of Allah inspires him, uh, and uh, he will remain in that state in prostration until Allah says to him, "Raise your head and ask, and you will be heard, and intercede, and you will be able to intercede." Yeah. So even that is by permission of Allah, the Prophet So that is from uh, Hadith uh, of the Prophet Fala yashfa'u illa bada il So no one can intercede except with. The permission of Allah and even the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, uh, so then the, the Shaykh mentions the last point here and he says, وَالشَّفَاءَ الْمُثَبَّةَ هِيَ أَلَّتِي تَكُونَ لِأَحْلَ التَّوْهِيدِ And the affirmed shifa is only for the people of Tawheed. As we know, it's not just going to be the Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It'll be righteous people who will be interceding. It might be uh, a son for his uh, parents. It might be parents for their children or their husband for his wife. And, you know, it, it might be uh, right, a friend for a friend. So 
uh, after the Prophet has interceded and uh, when people have entered the hellfire from the uh, people of Tawheed, when they've been there, they go in there to pur purify, not for ever. So when, and then Allah, uh, Allah will enable uh, the righteous people to intercede for all the people of Tawheed. Uh, so, for uh, the لا تنفعه شفاء. So the disbeliever, the one who commits shirk, intercession won't benefit him. Yeah. So if you are a person of Tawheed and a person in your family member commits shirk, you can't intercede for that person. So we pray. We, we so it's a duty upon us to call our families to Tawheed. So والذي يقدم القرابين للقبور والنذور للقبور هذا مشرك لا تنفعه شفاء. So the one who uh, you know, comes closer uh, and he to the those who, uh, you know, uh, who uh, are people of the graves. You know, he he gives uh, and the, the people who give vows the, to the dead in the grave, uh, the righteous, and call upon them. Uh, this person is a mushrik, and he will the shafa will not benefit him. So even if he claims to be a Muslim, he's committing shirk. So we need to explain this to the Muslims so that Allah can guide them to the Haqq and uh, to Tawheed. And the uh, khulasa, the uh, summary of the, the Shaykh, he says, Al-Qawl, and the shafa al-manfiya, he allati tutlub bi ghairi idnillah, or tutlub li mushrik. So uh, the, in, the end, in the end, the Shaykh says that the rejected, uh, you know, shafa intercession is the one that is sought without the permission of Allah, or that is sought uh, from a person who, Commit shirk. And yeah. is uh, the one that is uh, the shafa that is accepted is and affirmed is the one that is sought after the permission of Allah and is for the people of Tawheed. So we finish with that, we'll continue with the third principle next lesson, inshallah. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته